Gordon Ramsay is squaring up to a customer when he isn't veggie bashing or insulting an underling. Gordon Ramsay's wild behavior and bottomless rage with people are now arguably more famous than his cooking. His demeanor has evolved from unpleasant to aggressive, and he has no qualms about demeaning his subjects. From the beginning of his career to the present, Ramsay has been the subject of numerous controversies and scandals. Gordon recently denied Chef Marcus Samuelson's claim of a racist rant. Keep watching the video until the end to find out what happened. According to you, who are the people who cannot stand Gordon Ramsay and hate him for his behavior? Do let us know in the comments below. Before we begin, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Chef Marcus Samuelson dislikes Gordon Ramsay and writes about a conversation with Hell's Kitchen star in his 2012 memoir, which allegedly ended with a racist remarks. According to the Daily Mail, Samuelson writes in his book Yes Chef about answering the phone and hearing the voice of an enraged Ramsay, who was apparently upset that Samuelson did not name him when asked which chefs he admired. After about five minutes of yelling, wrote Samuelson, Ramsay ended his rant with these words. I'm going to make sure you have a f***ing miserable time here. This is my city, you hear? Good luck, you black bastard. What is it about Ramsay that's so despised? In some cases, his numerous feuds can probably be attributed to professional jealousy, but it definitely goes beyond that. Many people despise Ramsay's personality, while others have been the target of one of his cruel comments. For one reason or another, many people have a grudge against the millionaire chef. Here are some individuals who hate Gordon Ramsay. Anthony Bourdain Anthony Bourdain, the late chef, was frequently critical of Ramsay, but his beef with the chef was not entirely personal. When Ramsay applied to trademark the name, the Spotted Pig in the United Kingdom in 2012, he expressed his disdain for him. Although Ramsay had no immediate plans to use the name, the trademark would have effectively prevented April Bloomfield and Ken Friedman of New York's The Spotted Pig from expanding across the pond. Bourdain took to Twitter to condemn Ramsay's action, calling them shameful, pathetic, and despicable. He charged Ramsay with appropriating Bloomfield's brand. Ramsay, on the other hand, claimed that he had no malicious intent and that the trademark was an innocent mistake. He eventually returned the trademark to Bloomfield, but it took a few months. It's unclear whether Ramsay was truly trying to do the right thing or simply caving into the criticism. Marcus Hamilton If Marcus Hamilton's memoir, Yes Chef, is to be believed, he has more reason to despise Gordon Ramsay than some. Samuelson's dislike for Ramsay dates back to his childhood, according to his memoir, Vi Eater. He stated that he first became aware of Ramsay's less-than-ideal personality while cooking with him at a promotional event. There were a few chefs there, and Gordon was rude and obnoxious to everyone, he explained. A couple years later, when he landed a job at London's Lansborough, Samuelson was asked which British chefs he admired, a list that Ramsay didn't make. I thought the best way to handle it was saying nothing about him at all, wrote Samuelson. Nothing good, nothing bad. I guess he was offended at being left out. Ramsey allegedly called Samuelson, saying, How can you come to my city and think you're going to be able to cook without even fucking referring to me? Samuelson said that the tirade went on for several minutes and ended with Ramsey saying, I'm going to make sure you have a miserable time here. This is my city, you hear? Good luck, you black bastard. Mario Batali Because the two celebrity chefs are so similar, Mario Batali's brash personality clashes with Ramsey's. Their feud has been ongoing for many years. Ramsey retaliated after Batali said Ramsey's cooking is dull and outdated, mocking Batali's orange shorts. In 2009, Batali told The Guardian, now he goes around town calling me Fanta Pants. Batali escalated the feud even further by banning his arrival from all of his restaurants. Ramsey's people call trying to book tables and I say no, he said. I won't have him there. Batali has stated that he would be happy to put the feud to rest. If he called me himself and said, let's sit down for a drink, I'm sure it would be fine. Would be cool, but right now it's not cool. While the two still aren't exactly friends, Batali has hypothesized that Ramsey's just playing a role, telling Eric Rippert on the show, on the table, he's a TV guy. He's like playing the bad guy on Macbeth. That's just the role he's got. I don't think he's like that, honestly. Jamie Oliver Ramsey has so many detractors, he could divide them into two groups, those who dislike him casually and those who take their feuds with him very seriously. Chef Jamie Oliver belongs to the second category and has had a long-running feud with Ramsey. The feud started in the 2000s when Oliver publicly chastised Ramsey for making fun of the appearance of Tracy Grimshaw, an Australian television personality. Ramsey retaliated by labeling Oliver a one-pot wonder, sparking their feud. Tana Ramsey, Ramsey's wife, has even entered the fray, claiming that she's a better cook than her famous husband. 
The tipping point came in 2017 when Oliver mentioned having one more child than the Ramses. Ramses' wife had miscarried earlier that year and he vowed never to speak to Oliver again unless the chef apologized. Boys will always fight and butt heads, but Tana was mortified. Ramsey told Radio Times. Dana Levy Dana Levy, Ramsey's former business partner, ended up on Ramsey's hit list after their partnership ended due to Ramsey not pulling his weight. Laurier Gordon Ramsey lasted only six months before Levy terminated Ramsey's consulting contract. We wish Gordon the best of luck, but he's a big star and too busy to come to the restaurant. Levy told the National Post in February 2012. He didn't have the time to manage it. He hasn't been here since August. Levy changed the name of the restaurant from Ramsey 1936 to Laurier 1936, the year that the restaurant first opened. New menus were quickly printed, leaving little evidence that Ramsey had ever been involved. According to restaurant critic Marie-Claude Lordy, while Ramsey created a buzz around the restaurant and gave it a jolt, his influence didn't make much of a difference in the restaurant. Ramsey responded by suing Levy for $2.25 million he claims he lost in the deal. Laurier 1936 is no longer in operation. Marco Pierre White For a time, Marco Pierre White was Gordon Ramsay's mentor, but things did not go well. White boasted in his autobiography via The Independent that he made Ramsay cry after yelling at him when he was in his early 20s. While Ramsay understandably dislikes his former boss, White also dislikes Ramsay for the things he has done in retaliation for the harsh treatment. I will never speak to him again, White told Telegraph. I gave him his first break in the business and I believe strongly in being loyal to people who have helped you. White claimed that Ramsey betrayed him in several ways, including turning up at his wedding without permission with a film crew and posting footage of it. In 1998, Ramsey paid someone to steal his restaurant's reservation book. He claimed that White was behind the theft and was trying to sabotage his business. I blamed Marco, Ramsey finally admitted to the Guardian nearly a decade after the incident. Chris Hutchison Gordon Ramsey's family is not immune to his feuds. His feud with his father-in-law, Chris Hutchison, became so heated that Hutchison was eventually arrested. For a time, Hutchison and Ramsey collaborated, but after Ramsey fired him as a business partner, Hutchison and his sons, Adam and Chris, hacked into the company computer to steal data. Instead of settling the feud privately, Ramsey made it public, and the Hutchison family was arrested. Hutchison received a six-month prison sentence. The two patched things up after Hutchison was released. He did some stupid mistakes that he's put his hand up and accepted, and I'd like to think that we've all moved on," Ramsey told the Herald. Ramsey added that the incident was very difficult on his family, but that his father-in-law apologized to everyone and they had put it all behind them. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Do let us know your thoughts in this video in the comments below. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then do like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more such exciting content. See you in the next one.